welcome to bitfumes and in the last episode we have written the file inside a directory with the name and the email but now because what we want we have achieved but this time we need to create an our app in production mode so if i go and type php q and a it's not a q and a why i have written it's q and a forget it because name doesn't matter the point is that how you can create some awesome thing with this level zero okay so if i type php q and a you can see we have important command we have is just profile we don't want inspiration we don't want any app we don't want any make command so if i go to the config folder you have two uh files here one is app so first thing is that you can see version is given here name is given here but the point is production is false so if i make production to true and then i will try to run this you can see we just have two commands inspire inspiring and profile even though we don't want inspiring so we can simply delete this and then if i run this we just have one which is profile okay so this is the first way then you first need to say git init then you will say git and uh, you just need to commit first time then if i now type php q a it is still not taking any releases because let's say git tag of uh, version of 0.0.1 and how about this so what if i say yeah now the, you can see it says q a having version of 0.0.1 so whatever is the git version it will take and that exactly is given here so in that way we have given the version name also then we have the commands uh, uh, file and here we can have various commands so suppose the command i have i have deleted that so can i get that back mm, yeah so maybe if i put back okay it's not there so if i do this yeah so it's back here yeah. so what i'm going to show you now is that yeah if i say q a inspiring inspiring is there but suppose sometime what happened you don't want to delete or there is a command which you don't want to show to your users but still you need that command so what you can say you can just hide that command from your uh, from your console so it's given inspiring but if i add that inspiring command here so i can say app then command and inspiring command class if we give this and then i run you can see we have this file here but still we are not getting that command detail in our console so this is the way you can have some of the command in your app but it's not going to show so this is the very cool part okay so the important point is that how we can make this in a production so simple thing php q and a and because we are now moving it in production so why not make app in production as false by doing this we get this command app build okay so php q and a app and build and what you want your app to be called so because i don't like q and a it's not a q and a so i will call it profile and make sure you spell it correct so now you can see it's building your application moving it into production mode and if you see the app file it just moved everything and removed the comments and after building everything is back here now so it is done and the exact point is that now you have a file inside a build folder called profile this profile is exactly what we need okay so here i am and what i'm going to do i will go on my user and then i'm going to actually find out dot composer 
directory so yeah where here we have an inside vendor i'm going to put that file so let's go to uh, project okay it's on desktop so on the desktop q a inside build we have this profile it's a file and let's place paste it so if i try to run it so i will say profile nothing is there because we need to create a sim link in our bin file bin directory actually so you just need to run a command ln hyphen s then this is the actually the command but this is not for packer this is for profile so i'm going to make a sim link of profile into bin folder so inside bin folder we don't have any profile but as i run it yeah we have profile here so this means if i now say profile it's going to work <laughs> and yeah it's very easy so let's just go into desktop and then you can see we don't have any uh, any directory here so let's say profile and profile profile so profile the command is profile we can make uh, some other another command name it's not looking good but the point is i'm going to say sarthak or if i don't give so let's say sarthak from here and it's asking for email so sarthak and oops so like sarthak at bitfumes.com hit enter and list out the content we have the profile so if we cd into profile directory list out the content we have a details.php so open it with vim so details.php and yes we have this array with the php tag and returning that so this is exactly how you actually move your application to the production mode and how you add this but this is what you get locally how you can make things so that everyone can install it like i have created the packer so in that case what you need to do you it's very simple actually you just need to push this to a, a repository and on the git repository and then on any git repository you just need to register or link that on uh, packagist.com so as soon as you link that you can get the composer require command and everyone can easily uh, get that so if you feel any problem while creating this uh, console application by using level zero feel free to message me comment me and you can directly ask to nuno also he is very supportive person and i personally asked him various various questions he personally uh, reviewed my laravel packer command line tool and he is awesome person so if you have not subscribed to this channel what you are waiting for just go and subscribe to this channel for more laravel related updates like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye